Uh, hi again, so we will be solving uh, some exercises in this uh, uh, recording. So we'll start with uh, this exercise. So we need to sum product and average of n numbers using loop. So we need to write a program that reads n numbers on the keyboard and then display their sum, product and average. So they are telling us to choose an appropriate type for the values to display and the number n should be entered on the keyboard. We need to solve it using while, do while and for and we have some supplementary questions. So let's take an example. So first the user should enter the number of elements, let's say uh, five. And then we need to uh, read, so we need to scan uh, five numbers. So let's say the user enters one, four, two, minus one, and zero. So those are the five numbers. So at the end, we should print the sum, the sum of all these numbers, uh, their product and their average. So the sum, would be equal to 4, 5, 6, 7, so it's equal to 6, and we have the product, which would be equal to 0, since you have a 0 here, so 1 multiplied 4 is 4, 4 multiplied 2 is 8, 8 multiplied minus 1 is minus 8, and minus 8 multiplied 0 is 0, and then we have the average, so the average is equal to their sum over their number, so the sum is equal to 6 over 5, so it, be, it would be equal to 1 point something. So, uh, how could we do that in a loop? So here the user enters a 5, but however, uh, suppose that he enters a 500, so we'll not write 500 scan f here, we'll not write 500 sum, 500 product, or uh, one average. So here we just have one average. So we need to use loops. So we will loop over the n, so as long as we have n here, so we'll use it as a counter. So as long as we couldn't reach this number, so we need a counter also. Uh, we will read, we will sum, and we will do the product. So let's see it together. So we are here. Let's remove all this and start coding. So first, the user should enter uh, n. So we need the n, the variable n, variable n. So please enter n, n, and let's do scan of percentage n. So the user here can enter. Uh, a positive zero or negative number so if you want to force him to to enter a positive number so this it would be a good uh, practice so we use a do while so first we read the n and as long as he gives us a value that we don't like so let's say if he enters zero or enter something negative i will tell him please enter again so as long as n is equal to zero or is less than zero, I will ask him again, please enter another number. So we'll do that in a while. So let's just uh, use printf, so n equal, and run the program here to understand what I'm talking about. So n, so I will run it, so, so percentage d, here we have an address, we have forgot to raise the address, so run, Hmm, we're still running. And start running. It's compiling. It takes too much time. Okay. So, enter n. Minus 7. So, minus 7. It's a negative number. It's not writing. I don't know why. Okay. Let's stop and rerun again. Minus 7, so I'm, t I'm telling minus 7, so here minus 7, so n is less than equal to 0, so I will do it again, so I'll enter n, so I'll keep asking the user to enter even 0, it will not work, to enter a positive number. So when he enters a positive number, strictly positive number, so the do while will end and we will move to the next instruction. So let's uh, work now, so we have n and we need to do n stuff, so we need as if we want to count n times. So for that, we will use a counter, so let's call it i, so it's easier in, in, in capital or small letter. So i will start, so either, so we'll start for, with for loop, so the, the second uh, part, or if you want, we can start with uh, a while, let's start with a while, it's better. So start, uh, we start i with 0, and then we do while, so as long as i is less than n, 
so because we are starting from zero we can uh, uh, we should have it less than n because zero till n minus one is equal to n if you want to start from one you place you place less than or equal to n so we need just to pay attention to these stuff so whenever we count from zero zero is a number so it's counted as one number so as long as i is less than n i need to read a number i need to update the sum and i need to update the product and of course i plus plus because it's the counter so i need to end this so i should be incremented at each iteration so at the end here i should have i plus plus so i would ask the user please let's say print f t here or two spaces uh, enter a value and scan f so where should I put the value? So I should put it somewhere. So let's call it uh, x. You can call it as you want. You can read uh, floats. You can read whatever you want. So it, it depends on you. And then I need to place it in sum and do the product. So I need a variable called sum. So here we have a comma, not a dot. So if if the sum becomes too too big, so I can I can use a long int or long long. So it depends on the variable. So let's keep it now for uh, integer. So int sum, and we need the uh, uh, one for the product. So product prod. So at first sum, of course, because I'm summing, so we will add a zero. So it starts from zero, and product would start from one because if I place zero, so zero multiple something is always zero. So in sum, I will place sum plus x so it's plus equal x and in prod i would place multiple equal of x so this one is equal sum equal sum plus x and this one prod equal prod multiple x and of course i need to increment the i plus plus so this is the while loop so i'll start i start from one and at each iteration it will get incremented by one and when i reaches more than n so it's it, it, it's over n so we will end this loop. So as long as we go, we read a value and we add it to sum and we multiply uh, all the numbers together. So when I finish, I need to just print f. So the sum would be equal to percentage d backslash n and I will print the sum. Then the product, I will place the product and we have the average. So let's update all these. So the product so here we have prod, so all these are in capital. And we have the average, so the average should be a double or float, depend. So I will place here percentage 0.2, just two numbers, and we have the sum over the product. However, sum is an integer, and product is an integer, so I need to change one of these. So either I'll cast or I'll multiply by 1.0. Let's multiply by 1.0, and let's see. Uh, uh, the running so we have while we have an i here missing okay while it's really weird run okay enter and let's say minus seven let's say four Okay, I need to enter the first value. So the values here, there is no do while for just the value. So you can enter positive values, zeros, negative values. So let's say I will enter a minus one. I will enter two uh, and then one and then again two. So their sum, so two plus two equal to four. Their product, two multiple two minus one minus four and their average minus four uh, uh, 4 over uh, n so here it's not product it's n it's the number so here is the mistake so it's equal it should be equal to 1 so let's rerun it so let's say uh, 4 we have 1 minus 1 2 and 2 so yes it's equal to 1 so what, what if we want the user to enter just here uh, positive numbers? So what can I do? So and so this I will place it in between a do while. So I will read the number 
and if I don't like the number, I will ask the user to enter another number. So do while. So as long as x is less or equal than zero, so as long as the user is giving me zeros or negative, I would I would I would not like this number. So we can, for example, here enter a value and we give it a number, so percentage D, and I will place it I. So enter value one, enter value two. So let's run it and check. So just an add-on for this pro for this exer exercise. So let's enter three values. So enter value one. I will enter minus one. He will tell me again, please enter value one. He is still waiting. Value number one. He's repeating the same because he's not incrementing. I he's not reaching this part here. So let's say two. I will enter zero. So zero is not acceptable. Let's enter three, and let's enter one at the end, and we will have six. Six over three equal two. So it will work now. So this is the variation of uh, the program using while. So while here. So how can we do if you want to use a do while? So what will change? So obviously nothing will change. So let's see how it will work. So we have a do here and while. So we'll start from i equal uh, to 1. So we will keep sum and product equal to 0. We will do the reading of the x, we will update the sum, we will update the product, we will increment i, and as long as i is less than or equal to n, I will do this stuff. Hmm? So first I will do it for i equal to 1, 2, 3, and even when i equal to n, I will do this stuff, and then run the program. So let's recheck if it's, have, if it's good. So let's say 3, I will enter 1, 2, 3. So this sum is equal to 6, product equal to 6, and the average would be equal to 6. So this is for the variation of uh, do while. What if we want to do it with a 4? So 4, it's like a while. Hmm? However, as we know, we have the numbering. So in place of while, I will place 4. So here we have the condition, so it's in the middle. And the incrementation is this one. So I will place it here. And the initialization, I have those two even those three. So if I want to be, uh, I want to use all these three, I will use commas. Hmm. And I will remove all. So this is the uh, for loop. Let's again run it. Three, one, two, three. So we'll end up with the same solution. So this is for the uh, first three apart. Then they are asking us which of the three variants is the most natural uh, for this problem. So since we are looping over, so mostly the for loop is the most uh, natural one. It's more compact uh, for this uh, program. So uh, complete the best of the three versions. So repeat the introduction of the number n until n has a value between 1 and 15. What repetitive structure do you use and why? So we need to modify a bit and we need to complete the best of these uh, variations. So, it, 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 so all are good. And we need to repeat the, 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 the introduction of number n. So n, we should enter n as long as, so it should have a value between 1 and 15. So here we have a work if it's uh, negative, so we repeat it. They are asking us uh, more now. So if the number should be between 1 and 15, it means if we read a number less than 1, we should repeat. Or if we read a number greater than 15, we should repeat. So in place of this, so if n is less than 1 or n is greater than 15, I will repeat. So this is the condition. Let's run it. I will enter 0. It's not. Uh, it's not good. Sixteen. It's not good. Hundred. Then it's not good. Ten. Twelve. It's good. And then we'll enter the twelve value. So this is the uh, variations, and this is for the this exercise. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to drop me a message, and I will answer you back. And again, uh, thanks for watching.